Welcome to iLecture Online. In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the amount accumulated when the interest is compounded. What does compounded mean? Well, in the previous video, we saw that if we put an investment in, let's say a $2,000 investment for three years, then the first year, let's say that it's compounded yearly, we have to clarify that, and we'll show you in a moment what that means, but let's say that every year you figure out how much interest you've earned, you add it to the principal, and then the next year you'll be earning not only money on the principal, but also money on the interest you collected or earned on the first year. So if you first put $2,000 in the bank, and let's say that you earn 5% interest, not a likely scenario in today's times, but there were times that 5% was the amount you could earn in the bank, so then what you do is you put your $2,000 down at a rate of 5%. For one year, you earn $100 of interest. You then add that to the original principal. So the amount accumulated after one year would be $2,100. The second year, you then earn interest not only on the original $2,000, but also the additional $100 you earned the first month. So in the second year, the interest earned will be 5% of $2,100. And so therefore, you earn $105 of interest instead of $100. That gets added to the, uh, to the amount that you then have. So you have a total of $2,205. And then in the third year, you, you earn interest on that amount. And so you can see that you then earn $110.25 the third year. Add that together, you then end up with a total accumulated amount of $2,315.25, which would be $15.25 more than if it wasn't compounded yearly. So you can imagine that, let's say we compounded monthly or weekly or daily, that would be a very difficult exercise to do, but instead of doing it like this and continuously adding the interest earned to the next amount and then earning interest, we can do this by using this equation right here. So the accumulated amount is equal to the principal invested times the quantity 1 plus the rate divided by M. Now M stands for the number of conversions per year. I may want to make that clear. So per year. So if you compounded once per year, M would be 1. But if you compounded monthly, M would be 12. If you compounded weekly, M would be 52. And then you raise that quantity to the M times T, T being the number of years that you have the money invested, and M is the number of conversions. So in this fairly simple case, let's see how the equation would work. So the amount would be equal to the $2,000 invested times the quantity 1 plus the rate, which is 0 0.05, divided by the number of conversions per year. In this case, we're going to do one conversion per year. So every year we add the interest to the original amount. Typically in the bank now, they do compound it daily, and we'll show an example of how to do that later. So this is then raised to the M, which is 1, times T, which is 3 uh, power. So this becomes $2,000 times 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 1, raised to the third power. So we should get the exact same amount as that with a calculator. So the way to do that is to go ahead and take 0 0.05 divided by 1, which is 0 0.05, add that to 1. So now you have the quantity inside the parentheses. Now you raise that to the third power, so you find your x to the y button, put in a 3, and then you multiply that times 2,000. Let me show you the intermediate value. So this should be equal to 2,000 times, you should get 1.5, whoop, I'm missing a 1 here, 1.157625. We don't need that many significant figures, of course. When it comes down to less than a penny, you don't really care. But you multiply that times 2,000, and you should get $2,315.25, which should be the exact same number as the number we have over here, as you can see, and therefore you know that equation works. So that's the what we call the compound interest equation, so the amount accumulated after T number of years with M number of conversions per year and R being the rate, P being the original principal. That's how we calculate the amount that you have in your account when you invest a certain amount at a certain interest rate with a certain number of conversions per year. And that's how we do that.